Good morning. How are you? How are you? It's so nice to have you here with me today. Good morning. How are you? Just fine. Howdy, how do you do? Hello, good day. Now that we're together, learning so much fun. The more of us, the better. So come on, little one. Good morning. How are you? Howdy, how do you do? Hello, good day. Howdy, how do you do? Hello, good day. Hello, little genius. Welcome to Learning Fun with Teacher D. My name is Teacher D. What's your name? That's a fine name. I'm so happy you're here. Today, we are going to be learning about a special letter. And that letter is A. A. A is for apple. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Yummy. A is for apple. Apple. Great. Can anyone find A on my special chart? Hmm. A. Aunt Annie's alligator begins with A. A. And we have a big A and a little A. Can you think of any words that begin with A? Hmm. How about ant? Ant. Ant. That's a fine ant. Hello, ant. Every letter makes a sound and A says ah. 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 Good job. I live in Canada. Where are you from? Is there anyone here from Argentina? In Argentina, people say hello and good morning differently than those who live in Canada. In Argentina, friends say hello like this. Hola. Hola. Can you say hello like that? Hola. Hola. Great job. In Argentina, friends say good morning like this. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Can you say good morning like that? Buenos dias. Good job. Let's try that one more time. Buenos dias. Good job. Now we are going to sing a song about a special man who had lots of animals. 
and he had a special animal that begins with the letter A. Are you ready? Let's sing. Old man Noah had an ark, E-I-E-I-O, and on that ark he had an ape, E-I-E-I-O, with a there. Old man Noah had an ark, E-I-E-I-O, on that ark he had an ape, E-I-E-I-O. Oh man, oh, I had an ark. E-I-E-I-O. And on that ark, he had an ape. E-I-E-I-O. Good job. <laughs> now, old man Noah is a man. And so that brings us to another special word I want to share with you today and that word is I am writing it that word is he he old Manoa he is a man he he is a word he let's write it again h e he he is a word that we used to refer to a boy or a man or even a baby boy or even an old man like old man Noah okay let's practice the word he oh look at this little baby he is so cute he he is crying he wants his pacifier there you go baby Aww. he oops I erased my little letter he let's try that again he is a little baby boy. Uh oh. He dropped his bottle. Let me get it. He is hungry. There you go, baby. All done. He is all done. And he is so happy now. Goodbye, baby. He is waving. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Now there are shapes all around us. And an apple has a shape. Can anyone guess what shape an apple has? If you said circle, you're right. An apple is round, just like a circle. Let's draw a circle. Round and around and around we go. Round and around and around we go. Round and around and around we go. And we have a circle. Let's do it again. Round and around and around we go, round and around and around we go, round and around and around we go, and we have a circle. Great job! Can you find any circles at home? I'm going to give you some time. <laughs> Mm 
<laughs> Look what I found. Another circle. Hmm. My lip balm is a circle. I also found this. My music CD is a circle. A circle. Round and around and around we go. Round and around and around we go. Round and around and around we go. And we have a circle. Good job, my little detectives. And now we are going to talk about a number that is also round and it is a number that is less than one and it's a number that's often forgotten hmm let's see if we can find an item with that number in this bucket hmm let's see what I pull from my mystery bucket <gasps> yes we did it we found zero 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 means there is nothing left there is nothing there so if I have an apple and I eat it all nom, 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 then I have no more apple I have zero apple when your mom says there are no more candies in the house that means there are zero candies in the house when your mom says there is no more ice cream in the house that means there is zero ice cream in the house when your mom says there is no more chips in the house that means there is zero chips in the house zero 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 good job before we go let's talk about some healthy habits one healthy habit is eating our fruits and vegetables let's look at our fruit and vegetable wall do you see any familiar fruits can anyone find the apple a a apple <gasps> there is an apple there are some apple slices there is another apple a a apple there is some more Can you find any other fruits? We have strawberries, raspberries. Can you find any other fruits? Hmm. There we have some mangoes. Over here, we have a raspberry. Over here, we have some papayas, some orange slices, some kiwi, some blueberries. Fruits make us healthy and strong. 
So when our parents offer us fruits and vegetables and our nuts, we should eat them because then we can grow healthy and strong. Do you want to be healthy and strong? Yes, I know you do. So until next time, practice the letter A. Eat your fruits and vegetables and have your mom and dad help you to research some more facts about the ape. Well, friends, it's time to say see you next time. I hope you had fun learning with me. Goodbye, friends.